video has surfaced of two Bills confronting an Eagles fan in the front row of the stands behind the Buffalo bench during the game. Jordan Phillips appears to get in the fan's face before Shaq Lawson appears to shove the fan. So we have three ex-stars on this show who are known as controversial players, which means <laughs> all three endured more verbal abuse from road fans than most players did. <laughs> Michael, let's start with you. Eagles fans once cheered when you were seriously hurt in a game at Philadelphia. Your reaction to what the two Bills players did? I, I, I'm, I'm shocked. I'm shocked. And I, I've heard a lot of things come off those sidelines. I've you heard have. a lot of words come towards us and, and towards the bench, towards me personally. And, and, and never do I, have I ever gone over to the sideline and never have I gone certainly put my hands on anyone. I don't know what's going to become of this, but the NFL will have to address this. They will. Because you, you cannot have this. You can't hit the thought of this and where this could have gone, where this could have gone. You come over and you touch somebody or somebody in the stands and, and, and it's somebody with some with, somebody with other people. Now we got a whole lot brawl. They're jumping over the walls and everything. Everybody, it could have gotten crazy. Yeah. The best thing you do is you don't go over there. And people are going to yell a whole lot. They're, they're going to say a whole lot. You just can't go over there. And the NFL will have to address this. No, and, and Michael's right. You cannot engage in any type of confrontation with a fan or anybody for that matter. There's a couple things that will allow me to engage with you. If you throw something at me, yeah. okay? You call me the N-word <laughs> to me, and you put your hands on me, everything else is off limits. If Shaq Lawson comes to me after the game and now that this is resurfaced and he has an excuse that validates what I just said, about what will allow me to go over there. Now I'm I'm feeling a little bit different, but based on the video and what I seen, and not hearing anything, for him to touch that man, he's in the dead wrong. He is completely wrong, and I don't know, Mike, like Michael said, what's going to come of this. But at the same time, oh, Troy Vincent will go see it. He put himself in a bad position. If they didn't throw anything at him, Skip and yeah. Richard, mm -hmm. if they didn't uh, 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 hit him. Or they, in my opinion, use the derogatory term, mm -hmm. starts with the end, then we, we, we good. I ain't, I ain't got no put no hands. I, like Michael said, man, we done heard it all. One of the funniest things, all. one of the funniest things in Philadelphia, we're playing the Eagles. When I played against them at the time, Michael and Skip Richard, I was in the midst of a divorce. <laughs> Wait, were you a Jet? <laughs> no, I was okay. a Tampa Bay Buccaneer. Okay, yep. The entire, I come out the good tunnel, man, the man, entire man. stadium, they got size. Keyshawn's, where's your wife? They're screaming it. But it's okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to get mad. I'm laughing with them. Yeah. It, 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 you know, it's fun. But just don't put your hands on me and we're good. Say anything you want. All right. Go, Richard. I agree. I agree. I, he's a dead, a dead wrong. And, I'm, I, and, and I even say to the point, like, you say all that. I just, you go to the security, you go to the team. Hey, this is what's going on. They right. got to get the dude up out of there. Right. Like, I, I don't need to go over there and push it because that ain't going to get my point across either way. No. Like, that little push didn't do nothing to that person. Like, if I'm, if, if I'm going to put my hands on you, I'm going to at least do some damage. You can't do no damage right there in this situation. So what's the point of walking over there? That, that little shove is going to get you way more of a headache than, than even you got yeah. to, to really get your anger off or you even got to, to do anything. So I don't know what they said. They say some really foul things in the stands sometimes. They say wild things, and you try to beat them with your performance. If they had won that game, I'm sure he would have went over there and talked mess to them. That's part of the game. That's part of, that's part of sports. But you don't need to put your hands on nobody in no situation like that. If they, ain't, if they ain't putting your hands on you or your family or something like that, somebody in danger, mm -hmm. man, leave that person alone. Mm. Keyshawn, even if somebody throws something, I don't know that you can I, go I, after them. No, 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 I don't play that, Skip. Because okay. I don't do anything to you. Yeah. Just because you pay to come into the stands and cheer your team on, it does not allow mm -hmm. you to disrespect me by throwing something at me yeah. and calling me the N-word. I, I understand. I, get that. I, get that. I understand yeah. it could escalate to some other things. 
I'll take but my you chance. Can't turn to I'll take my chance. You can I turn to security no, I can't, and say he I, threw it. I, I, I can turn to security yeah. and say that person threw it. There's yeah. no question about it. But I'll take my chance. Okay. I, don't I, I put don't your hands on me. Don't put your hands on me and don't throw nothing at me. I'm I, just I, telling I, you. I, well, let me, I don't consider it disrespectful. I, co I consider that to be ignorance when people well, throw Well, then you things. can call I, it whatever you want to, Michael, but I don't play that. I understand. Because I didn't do it to you. So don't do, don't treat me that way. And, and I understand you take it that way. I have to take it as you are not qualified to make an assessment upon me to say that I am someone you should disrespect. I'm only going to measure you as ignorant because since you don't know anything and you're in this matter, in this manner. I don't care what you say. I'm not coming over there and, and, and starting something in the stands. No matter how hurt I am about it, no matter how disappointed I am, because I got to always think what can possibly happen here. No, you're you're, you're this right. This can get crazy. You run over there and touch the wrong person, and he got some people with him, or certainly that look like a slight person. If it's a woman and she got some people with her, that's really going to be some things. You know what I mean? It can go anywhere. You have to be careful. There, there, there's no question about it, Skip, that you do have to be careful. Yeah. But I draw the line when you start attacking me, man. You throwing things no, I, at me, I, I just it. do. I, I used to be I just even do. Even snowballs, would do you care about snowballs? Uh, I done had batteries thrown know, at me. I got it. I done yeah, had snowballs so. thrown at me, Skip. I'm standing next to Brian Cox in Buffalo and they throwing frozen batteries. I, come on. Let me, let me, that can, let me, that can was, do something to me. Right. Did it, you go after right. him? No, right. no, we, it was but, kind of wild. It, but they'll tell yeah, you, was, listen, when you get in those environments, was, when you get wild. in those environments, and I've been in them in Philadelphia. Philadelphia we, is what wild we do, What it. we say, we're on the sideline. Everybody, when you're walking in the stadium or walking out, keep your helmet on because they're throwing things, you know what I mean? You can hit things. I was telling these guys, sir, and everybody, I was telling these guys about one time in Carolina. Had the fans, you know, and, and right before every game, I go, I always run down the sideline. I want to touch 100 markers because mm. in my mind, that means I'm going to get at least 100 yards. So I touch every marker <laughs> stepping out. So as I'm running down, I look up, I see a crowd of dudes. I was just going, I just went through all kinds of stuff. I had spent it early on in the season. I'm coming back now. I'm back. We're about to go to Super We're ready to go to Super Bowl. This is a playoff game in right, Carolina. Right, playoff game in Carolina. I'm hitting every sideline step. I look up, I see a group of guys. They said, a sign, they had, each had a shirt on. The sign said, Michael Irvin, role model. I was like, oh, okay. Appreciate that. <laughs> they know I'm going through something. They know I'm going through something. Appreciate it. And then as I got closer, a couple more dudes stood up. It said, Michael Irvin, parole model. I said, oh, you dirty dog. Oh, you dirty dog. I'm going to get you on this field at night. You know what I'm saying? So, so the fans come up with that, that clever stuff. And then they pay their money to come in and, 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 and say and I, I crazy to, as their fandoms. But you cannot go over there. That's you just right. got to take it or say, I'm going to get you on this field today and pay you back that way. Mm. Okay, so Keyshawn, back to you. Obviously, the worst thing that ever happened at the NBA was the malice at the Palace. Yes, it that's was what i test and My man Steven Jackson, right. and they, they go up into the stands and all hell broke loose. And it just won't work. You have and that could have been you, you have legal issues going on because you have legal liability issues because they can sue you and and nothing good can come of it. So that's the that's the problem. I, no, I understand. I I, no, no, I understand. Yeah. I just when you I've been in the situation. I went back yeah. when I was with the Carolina Panthers and played Tampa Bay Buccaneers. We yeah. go into Tampa, we smack them. I play well. I'm going through the tunnel. Dudes throwing beer on top of me. Oh, okay? So I, I, this is horrible. I, I played a football game. Because that's yeah. just. I played yeah. a football game. I didn't I, come I, to the football I, game I, for you to target me. No. I just didn't. Plus, that's yeah, just. I, I understand that. And, and I understand how that can be frustrating. But you can't put your hands on them. It costs you more to goddamn it's throw this show. It so much. Oh, and it, and you, when you chalk it up, it's going to cost you so much. Trust me, I know more than anybody. It's going to cost you. Don't. Do it. They're going to go hire some lawyer that ain't got nothing to do. Your lawyer's going to charge you by the hour. And he's just going to keep sending in paperwork and sending in paperwork till you just going to say, there's a nuisance value here. Let me just give you some money to throw this case away yeah. and to get out of it. Right. And I let you, you may have had some financial issues. I let you come up with the plan. I'm going to go out here and call Michael this name, and he's going to jump on me, mm -hmm. and I'm going to have a lawsuit. Then Absolutely. I'm going to go and get me some early money against the lawsuit I have coming in against Mike Orb. You ain't getting it off me. You can say what you want. 
I'm going to keep on walking. Now, it took me a long time to get here, yeah, but yeah. I'm here now. <laughs> I'm going to keep my money in my pocket. Well said by all three of you. I appreciate your perspective. But we need to talk Coach Prime. Dion's first season is over. He now has lost two top recruits we're about to discuss. No mercy, no mercy, no mercy. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Do you want more highlights from the show? Make sure to click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from Undisputed.